of God. When, when the kingdom of God was originally launched, it was life without death, all is good, presence of God available, no shame and nothing to hide, and order without chaos. Why am I saying this? I'm saying this to hopefully awaken somebody to what God wants you to be. Thank you, Lord. That's the reason why I'm stressing this. It was about 10 years into my prison experience, and I had about six years left, but I didn't know how much time I had, had to do. And I remember it was about 5 p.m. I was taking a nap and I was awakened by an announcement on the intercom that said, chow time, chow time. And I hate to teach you about prison, but that means it's dinner time. And in prison, I was in a dorm with about 300 guys. And when it's chow time, everybody kind of herds together and they walk towards the dinner table or the dinner hall. And I remember I just woke up from a nap and I herded up with everybody and I started to walk to the chow hall and all of a sudden I begin to hurt here a grown man screaming for his life all of a sudden I look up and there's this man being clocked in the head with a lock in a sock and they're just clocking him that's old school clock just clocking him and this grown man is screaming for his life and you can't do nothing you can't get to intervene you just got you just gotta just accept it right there this guy knocks out they pick him up by the feet and they drag him off to some corner and at that moment something came over me I broke away from the herd and I didn't care no more about dinner at that moment and I sat down on one of the little bleachers and I remember I'll never forget I was 10 years into my prison experience and I kind of just put my head down and my soul began to agonize my soul began to cry out and I'll never forget I remember me saying I remember me saying inside of me I said I'm not born for this environment I'm not born for this environment. I'm not created for this environment. Man, no, no, no. I'm not going to accept this as normal. I'm not going to accept this as to my life. God got to have something better for me. God got to have something better for me. I'm not made for this. And I remember, man, my soul just agonized. The 10th year of my incarceration. No. No, 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 no. I'm not dying in this environment. I'm not dying in the, I'm not made for this. No, God created me for something greater. And I made a decision. I made a decision at that moment that I wasn't going to die in that prison. That I was going to do everything necessary by the help of God to press through that prison and to break through that prison experience because I knew I knew I was created for something better listen I believe that everybody here everybody here at some point in time needs to have that type of moment we need to have that type of moment whether, whether you have that moment on the curb outside of a bar, whether you have that moment after you've been to the club and you know the world cannot satisfy what's the hole in your heart, or whether you have that moment on a couch in the middle of chaos in your home. We all need to come to that place where we say, no, I'm not born for this. Not created for this chaos. God created me to rule. Created me for royal environment. And I'm going to do whatever I have to do by the grace of God to press through into my inheritance.